So the Supreme Court leaker has not yet been found, but there's still a lot of leading candidates who we're not naming, but uh, outed on various threads on the Internet. Uh, One who we referenced yesterday, not by name, but there is a female clerk who's married to a guy who's a reporter who used to work at Politico and shared a byline with the guy who broke this story. Doesn't mean she's the one, but she's also an activist when it comes to, quote, reproductive rights. So my only point in raising it is they're going to get to the bottom of it. I've heard rumors, rumors only, that they already know. Um, somebody said it on my show yesterday, and then another person suggested to me last night that they 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 know. But uh, it's not confirmed, so forgive me because I'm just speculating here based on what I heard. I think they'll find the person. And you tell me whether you think there's going to be severe penalties for the person, given the fact that half the country will think she's some sort of a hero or he's some sort of a hero. They will find the person. You're totally right. There just aren't that many people that it could be. What are there? Something like 36 Supreme Court clerks, period. If it's four times nine, late. yeah. Then it's, right. You know, so you <laughs> it, it's not, not a whole lot. Uh, we assume this is one of the liberal clerks. We assume it's probably from one office in particular. Again, just speculating, but they will get to the bottom of it. And presumably there will be severe consequences from the standpoint of the law meaning uh, disbarment, the end of one's legal career, probably not criminal penalties. I I wish that there would be, but I I just sort of doubt that that will actually happen. Uh, The person's career, as it is currently going down the road, is probably over, but it doesn't matter. The The person will almost certainly be rewarded with a much more lucrative career. They will be hailed as a hero, probably put in charge of some extremely well-funded left-wing nonprofit or given a show on some left-wing network. And so this breach of trust, this huge upsetting of norms at the Supreme Court, a breach of trust really with the American people where these people, where the, the clerks and the justices are supposed to be public servants. uh, All of that is probably going to pay off pretty nicely in the end for this left-wing activist. Mm, And this person for me will forever be known as the person who tried to take down the U S Supreme Court and endangered nine people who could have been making millions in private practice, but decided to sit on the U.S. Supreme Court in service of the nation. Left wing, right wing, whatever. I have a lot of respect for these people. It's not that I think they all have equal intellect or equal uh, judgment when it comes to deciding cases, but I have a lot of respect for all nine of them. And I think it's disgusting what this person has done to them. For what? For what? Just to stroke her own ego or his so they could say, I was the one. We were getting the opinion anyway. There was no point. And now they're protesting at the justices' houses, including the ones with young children. And this person is probably sitting there inside the Supreme Court pretending that she's not the snake while all of her colleagues get investigated and have her stank all over them because they they don't know yet if they don't know and me- who did it. Megan, to be fair, to be fair, there probably was a point to this even beyond her own vanity and her own uh, applause on the left, which is the very thing you just said. The, these uh, Supreme Court justices are being protested. They're having threats made against their life. And as happens in every Supreme Court term, it ain't a vote until it's a vote. So we've now seen a draft opinion. I hope that the Supreme Court stands by the apparent vote on the Dobbs case and votes to overrule Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey. But we don't know. There was some talk during the Obamacare case that Chief Justice Roberts was on the side of of striking down Obamacare until the very end when he switched his vote. So obviously, this left-wing activist who who destroyed the uh, trust and integrity of the court, this person, I think, is hoping that you might see a similar thing here. I doubt that the conservative judges could do it. At this point, you want to talk about the institutional integrity of the court. If they switch their votes now, it's going to become clear that the Supreme Court has no integrity whatsoever, and they'll move along with political wins and wherever the threats are coming. But there is a whole lot of political pressure that that was successfully brought on these judges as a result. I can't help but feel like, okay, so obviously, if this is a left-wing clerk, there's and if it's a if it's a reproductive rights advocate and so on, there's not much of a care for the child in the womb. Right. This is somebody who thinks that the mother's rights trump all. And there's not much of a care for the justice's children, the children once they're out of the womb and living in the in the home of a justice who might happen to lean conservative. Because you tell me that a 10 year old child who happens to have Down syndrome is going to have to look out his window and see these assholes coming to protest outside of his home because his mom happens to be a Supreme Court justice. And I tell you, you don't give a shit about children. You don't care about 
anything or anyone but yourself. It's disgusting. And she knew or he knew that this would happen. This is totally predictable. And th- and this better be all that happens. You know, we're, you actually have to worry about the safety of them. This person thought what they felt mattered more than all of that. And so, no, they should not wind up on MSNBC. By the way, that's probably why Jen Psaki wouldn't criticize them because that's her new employer. Right. And she knows this person's going to wind up there. But no, this person should not be lauded or celebrated or given any financial reward or somebody else going to do it again. And you've hit the nail on the head here, Megan, which is I think I might be the only person in America who was not surprised at this Supreme Court leak. A lot of people were saying, no matter what you feel about abortion, no matter what you feel about Roe v. Wade, it is absolutely shocking that a Supreme Court clerk or someone else at the court would leak this opinion. I don't find it shocking at all. We're talking about people who kill babies, to put it as bluntly as I possibly can. I know that we're trying to dance around the procedures and the case history, but the issue that is actually at hand is whether or not to kill babies in the womb. And so when the stakes are that high and when people are going willing to go to that length, then upsetting a few court norms is child's play. Take a moment and think of the best burger you've ever had. Picture it fondly, longingly. Imagine that first mouth-watering bite and then throw it in the trash. Why? Because you're about to have a new favorite burger. I'm talking about the American Wagyu burgers from Good Ranchers. Everything else they sell is amazing. This is too. The only thing that can make them better is that you can get two pounds of this free as long as you enter my promo code, M-E-G-Y-N, Megan. You've got a problem. I got a problem. We all have a problem. It's a meat problem. And that meat problem is that 85% of the grass fed beef in stores and online is imported from overseas. And who the heck knows where from? Don't pay a premium for low quality foreign meat. Good Ranchers sells 100% American meat and they deliver it to your door for a great price. It's well packaged. It's tasty. It can be marinated, seasoned if you want. Good Ranchers helps solve your meat problem with free shipping, too. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan, M-E-G-Y-N, right now. Good Ranchers, American meat delivered. And if you're not the person who buys the meat in your house, tell the person who is to check out Good Ranchers. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.